היי גייז. אוקיי, another episode in the plats, synthesis, models, series. Today we have the granular four month oscillator, the fourth mode, and again I will use only plats in this mode as a sound source. This is the uh, whole purpose of this series, to explore plats. So let's see how this sounds like and how this looks like on the scope also. Let's have a listen. Okay, so this is the, what we have with the harmonics. We can change the relationship between the two formants. Very nice. And um, with the timbre, we can change the frequency of the formant or this uh, filter uh, um, band, let's call it. And with the morph, we can change the width and shape. And by that, of course, also the sound. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh. And we have of course another output. The auxiliary output. Okay, 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 let's see, let's see, <laughs> let's see if we can get a lower frequency than this, so let's uh, get rid of the scope for now, and let's use some offsets, so I will use the Atenu Verter from Befaco, let's, uh, let's uh, bring this back to the, oh man, this is nice, Uh, bring this back to the mixer and let's use the offset uh, in the, the volt per octave input. Oh yeah. Let's see what happens with the auxiliary output. Oh. Let's change the Lopez gate a bit. And let's also trigger this maybe. Oh man. Let's bring this back. Oh man. Okay, which one is which? What is this? Okay, what is this? Oh man, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Lots of reverb here on uh, channel one. This is a nice rhythm. This is nice. Oh yes, okay, let's create a nice sequence here. So I will use... Um, what shall I use? What shall I use? What shall I use? What shall I use? I'm not so sure if it will follow one volt per octave. So let's first of all see... With hot tuna, which note do we have here? Um, I think it was this one. Very nice. We have F sharp. So let's take it just a bit up to G. Very nice. And now let's do something like this. Now we have here G. So let's use 
let's use have here another offset so I will use this also to tune this to let's say B sharp B sharp B flat <laughs> A sharp so we'll have this and Let's do this. When I take it uh, out, by the way, what uh, happened before, bef because I'm triggering plats, um, it will send the Lopez gate also to the timbre, the envelope to the timbre. But if I... No, I like this with the trigger. So what we need, we need also to send zero volts. And let's use... Let's, let's, let's have another one also. I will use offset from Bog Audio. Let's have another note. Let's have another note. Let's use uh, G, B flat. Let's use D. Let's go down to D. Okay, now we need another one that will send zero and we will use a sequential switch. So we will have a sort of a sequence. Let's use uh, this uh, sequential switch number two with four um, inputs and one output. We will use just three steps. Let's use a really slow clock. Let's say divided by, let's say 16 for now. Let's change the BPM also something lower. Let's say 110. So this will clock the sequential switch and we will have, first of all, we will have the zero so it will be the note G, then we will have B flat, and then we will have um, the lower D. Or maybe we can do it something like this. We can go G, B flat, G, D. Okay, let's do this. So let's send here another zero, and then we'll change this back to four steps. And send this to the timber input, and let's see. maybe some slew oh yeah a bit more maybe Let's see what we can do with those clicks here. I want to make them a bit more punchy. A bit more punchy. So let's add... What can we add? Let's add a band pass filter. Uh, let's use tangents. With some nice resonance. Not so much resonance because I don't want to use tangents as a sound source. Oh yeah, I only want to use plats as a sound source. So if I um, bring the filter to self oscillation, it will be not the not why we are here for. But this is nice. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't like this lower D note. I don't like it. I think G, B flat, and G is enough. So let's leave it by at three steps. Take this D note out. So we have only, oh yeah, G and B flat. Twice G, once B flat. Okay, now let's add the Briatus. Maybe we can add, we can use the what's coming out of tangents 
and destroy it a bit and have some high frequencies, maybe. Oh man! Okay, let's add slap and this will be... Um, this we will gate with slap. So let's use the multiplied by four. Let's see what happens. No. Okay, never mind. Let's reset everything. without slip, just a second. Okay, so what we'll do, let's send this to a VCA. Oh man, oh man, alive! Haha! <laughs> okay, and now, from there it will go to another tangents because I want to take the low frequencies a bit out of this. Or maybe not. No, let's uh, just a bit. Yeah, I want to take the low frequencies out a bit, so this will go to a high pass filter. Very nice. And now let's send this to Chronoblob 2. Sync it with the clock. Um, let's make this a stereo um, delay. Okay, the clock doesn't help so much because it's not really synced with this rhythm. Maybe we'll take the trigger off here. Okay, the trigger is out of plates. No need to sync the, the delay. Let's just return a bit of the... frequencies. Let's make this a really short delay. Change the relationship between the left and the right. Now let's add sample and hold, which is this one. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's use, um, let's use Fate, this is something I'm doing a lot, and I'm just triggering Fate with a clock. And now, if I show you on the scope, I can choose the probability um, that this clock will come out of the trigger output of Fate, so I can add some probability. Now it will act sort of a Bernoulli gate, sort of. Sometimes it will come out, sometimes not, just with one output. So this we will use to trigger the sample and hold. And the sample and hold, let's set it to, let's say, negative positive 5 volts. And this will modulate the decay time, the decay time, the delay time. We need some reverb. And 
now what we will do, we'll use the same gate to trigger an ADSR module, which we will take from Bog Audio with a sort of a long attack and long decay. And let's trigger this envelope generator and use it to Okay, I need a longer gate, so let's use D gate because it's a short gate, it's too short for this attack time. So I will just send this to D gate. And, ah, okay, with this. And also will be for the fold amount. Maybe go with ping pong delay. Okay, let's add another voice, let's add another plats, again, granular formant oscillator, and let's see what do we have here. Let's use the new module from RJ, which is Oct from DivKid and Instruo, and this is called Octo. So uh, there are eight LFOs here that are not connected in any way um, in, uh, in the rate or speed or frequency. So let's modulate the timbre and modulate the harmonics and the morph. Let's see if they are unipolar or bipolar, just a second. Unipolar. Unipolar, so let's take the timbre a bit down. Okay, so now we have some movement. Number four. To this I need also clouds and maybe <clears throat> maybe we can take this an octave lower let's see just let's tune this so here we have D okay oh yeah and this will go also to clouds now what do we have here just a second what do we have in the Okay, let's send the auxiliary to clouds, because it's brighter. Take it up one octave, input gain all the way, blend all the way, just to add a nice texture. Let's see. Let's solo this, and density. Um, spread all the way, bit feedback, lots of reverb. And again, use oct. Uh, oct, I say, octo. 
which is based on Oct to modulate the size and texture of the of clouds. Let's make this also um, lo-fi, so it's a bit more crunchy. Maybe even two octaves up. Okay, now here we have, we can have a random sequence. So let's add another macro oscillator to <laughs> another plets. Again, granular format oscillator. And let's see what we get if we add, let's say Revin, which will be our quantizer. And uh, let's uh, go with uh, DG and B flat. And let's take the first sequence Let's make this uh, just a bit unipolar, going to the positive side from this output and from the other one it will go to the negative side, but let's start with the positive side, let's stay positive, let's see. And trigger. We will use the same trigger from Fate, so just when there is a change in note. Let's take this also an octave up. I can also do this here actually, from the quantizer itself. So what I'm doing here when there is nothing connected to the attenue verters or to the CV inputs actually, the attenue verters become um, attenue verters for the envelope. So the Lope, internal Lopez gate, like what happened in the beginning. So I'm adding envelope modulation to the timbre and now maybe also to the morph, let's see. You can even make the envelope snappier. Oh yeah. Okay, let's modulate the harmonic just to add some movement again with octo. And let's see what happens when we use the delay, for example, from VCV, um, which is this one. Let's again do this. Uh, no, let's do this with the uh, normal output. More feedback, maybe mix all the way. <laughs> Let's see what happens with the auxiliary. Oh yes, okay, so the auxiliary will go to the delay and the normal output will just go to the output. We don't have any more channels left, why, why? And let's, mo let's see what happens with Oct. <laughs> okay, no, another sample and hold. Um, let's go with negative positive one volt. Let's say again the same trigger that Plet is uh, receiving. And let's modulate negative positive one. Okay, let's modulate the panning. Oh, Palach. Add some reverb for number six.
take the probability a bit down and we will add another delay this time from MSM just because I don't want I, I want the main rhythm to be from the first voice this So this is not is not working so much. So with delay maybe I can make it work. Let's send it first through the delay. No need to sync it, but I need first of all a different mode, night mode and more feedback. and modulate the time, let's say also with the sample and hold. Let's have it a bit louder also. Less low frequencies. Let's see what happens when we send this main voice. Oh, nice. Through a chorus from... A from... A, where is it? This one. From Surge. Let's see. Um, this will go to the Surge and then we'll have left and right. What happens when we send this voice to a clock divider? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm curious. Um, also to a clock divider, let's see. Okay, but I don't want to use it as a voice, I want to use it actually as a clock. So if I send it to a lot of clock dividers <laughs> from here, let's just chain a few. We will have something in sync. So maybe we can use another clock divider and use this output to trigger example sequential switch is it too long let's go with it divided by it Yes, okay. So everything is a bit, a bit more in sync and now we have a few clocks that we can use that are in sync with this voice. A bit. Although I have only one more voice here, which is enough, uh, I think. But uh, let's see, what shall we use now? First of all, another plets or oh, let's use Nopskate from Vult. 
and we will send this uh, droney voice also to knobs cut uh, which will divide this voice into lower frequencies oh yeah Let's blend this all the way because we have the original already. Yeah, two octaves down. Actually, we can also modulate this with oct. Again, I'm saying oct. I mean with octo. <laughs> using the clock dividers for anything else actually I should have used a bigger mixer next time I will use the bigger mixer so I have more inputs although I can also mix a few voices here for example this here. But I think, what is now, 30 minutes, I think it's enough. Let's see what we have here, we have... Nice, this is nice. And we have this here that... And this. Yeah, we can also modulate it. Uh, this tangents uh, also with maybe with a quicker one or the not so quick one LFO. just take the low frequency just a bit down out oh man okay I do want to add another voice so I will mix something. Let's see what I can I mix. I can mix... I can mix those two, I think. Right, four and eight. Which is... Those two. So let's use a... Mixer. Um, I can use even new mix. Let's just use this. Okay, let's take number four. Let's take number eight. Let's send them. Oh yeah. Maybe pan them a bit left and right, just a bit. Okay, now I have here another channel I can use. So what I want to do, I want to use branches just, just to add these crackles to the sound. And I will use the main voice, this uh, melody something voice. And I will take the knob all the way to the right, so it's coming out only uh, from B. And I will send A to the mixer, and I will add lots of reverb to this. Not lots of, not a bit. And then I will start opening the... Oh yeah. The knob will get those crackers, because it will um, um, randomly go out of A. So if I take it all the way to A, we just get this voice. But if I bring it just a bit... Very nice. And again, I want to modulate the panning. So again, sample and hold. Let's go with again the multiplied by four. Why not? It's anyway not synced with anything. Take the low frequencies out. Okay, this is a weird patch. And I 
have no idea how it started. I think with this oscillator here. Very atmospheric. But okay, that's the way it is. This is the exploration part. <laughs> What we can also do actually before we go, let, uh, let's make another thing, I, guess I, I, I don't want to use this uh, chorus, but let's use booty shifter from Squinky Labs, which is a frequency shifter, so it will shift the frequencies up and down, and we have up and down outputs. I'm sorry, I'm soloing this all the time, but what I want to do, if I take it all the way to the left and choose exponential, here let's say let's use walk so randomly let's take the scale down it will randomly move here in this range and just add some movement you can hear it in the left and the right just to make this a bit more quirky okay and I think that's it for today again a weird patch that's how it is Cool. Okay, so this was another episode of uh, Platt Synthesis Model Series. Like always, there will be a link in the description, uh, in the description to this patch. If you want, you can download it, have a closer look, use it, and develop it, change it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoyed the button, <laughs> please hit the like button. <laughs> if you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a Patreon. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.